Hello, my name is Chris Parker, and today I'm going to show you how to add our snow overlays to your photos. In addition, I'm going to show you some additional tips and techniques for using them. And the first thing I would do is I would import the 50 snow thumbnails that were included with your download so you can reference those for future use. I've already imported them. And then what I did is I created a collection by clicking on this icon here, selecting Create a Collection, giving it a name, and clicking Create. So as you can see right here, I have a collection of 50 snow overlays, and we don't actually add these overlays to our photos. Instead, we just use these for a reference to figure out which snow we want to add to our photos. So in order to add the overlays, we need to go to the print module. And I'm going to go ahead and pick out a different collection so we can get some photos here. Let's do this one here. So right here I have an overlay from our Christmas collection and we're going to replace this with one of our snow overlays. So there are a few steps we actually have to do before we can actually add our snow overlays. So if your photo doesn't look like this right now, it may look more like this here. Because we are in the print module mode of Lightroom, we need to select a print template to start with. So go ahead and select 4x6 and then we're going to customize this template and then save it for future use. So once you have that, scroll down to the inner panel called Print Job. Make sure Print 2 is set to JPEG file and not printer. Once you have that, turn on Custom File Dimensions. So for now I'm going to go with a 6x4. Once you have your size typed in, come up to the inner panel called Layout and reset all the margins to zero. The next step is to make sure that the cell size matches the dimensions of your custom file dimensions. So right now it is. If it's not, just slide the bar over to the right and then we'll have the exact same size as our print dimensions. So we're now ready to add our snow overlays to the photo, but I would do one more thing before I did that and that would be create a template so you don't have to repeat those steps over and over. Just come over here and click on this icon here type in a name of the size that you want to save, and then click Create. I already have a couple of print templates pre-saved so I can easily access them for future use. All right, so once you have that, we can then add our snow overlay. To do that, come over to the inner panel called Page and click on Identity Plate. And then once you turn that on, you're gonna get something similar to this, it's probably your business name and then we need to add the snow overlays in place of this. So to do that, just click on this little arrow icon here and select Edit. Make sure you have Use a Graphical Identity Plate selected and then click on Locate File and then choose the file that you want to use. And then we get a little message here that says this file is very large, which it is, and I did make it large enough so that it will print well. So we're gonna go ahead and ignore that by clicking on Use Anyway. Once you have that done, click on OK, and now we have our snow. So you can click on the snow and move it into a new location, but one problem, it doesn't fill the entire area of our image. So I'm gonna bring this up to the top left, and then I'm gonna click on this corner here and drag it out to fill the entire photo and then you can adjust it and move it in position as needed. We do have a little snow on the girl's face here and mom's face here as well. So what we can do is we can adjust the opacity to bring that down a little bit so it doesn't look as bad. I'm gonna go down to 50%. So there we go, that looks 10 times better at 50% than it did at 100%. So just keep that in mind, you can adjust the opacity to your liking. All right, so once you have the snow overlay added to your photo, you need to save the file so you can use it or send it to your printer. So make sure we have JPEG to file selected. Enter the DPI for your printer. Set your JPEG quality accordingly. And then we need to select print to file to save the file. Give it a name, click save, and now you can use that photo for however you need to use it, whether you're sending to your client, to the printer, or just posting online. So thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy our 50 snow overlays. If you have any questions, please contact me on Facebook, and I will answer your question as quickly as possible. 
Again, thanks for listening and have a great day.